Hello, my name is Nathaniel Lapp from Fairview Christian School in Reading, Pennsylvania. And the title of the poem I will be giving for you today is What Will You Do? by Clayton Jennings. Here I am again, broken and ashamed. And I don't want to see another mirror or hear another person say my name. Because if you could see me right now, your impressive thoughts about my spirituality just wouldn't be the same. And I'm afraid that this time I walked a little too far, that I crossed some sort of invisible line, but I look and I can't find because I'm so blind, I'm so lost, and I'm so sorry. I walked away again. I didn't love you as much as I love my sin because my faith is weak and my skin is thin. And every time I look in a mirror, I want to spit because all I see is a godless boy among godly men. Do you ever wonder why you even love me? I wonder why you love me all the time. I wonder what you see in me when I cross your mind. All I see is another sinful mess, bound to be another letdown. Destined to say I'm sorry again with my head down. I keep listening to this world who says, do it on your own. You're just an afterthought. I've made this world my home. Forget putting you first. I'm Lord of my own throne. And all I know is searching for self-satisfaction. So I can't help but wonder. So all I can say right now is that I need you. I need you like the drought needs the rain. Like the winter storm needs the warmth of summer rays. Like an orphan child needs its dad's embrace. I need you. I look around at society and we're just a bunch of weak men. Living our lives for the weekend. Getting up on Monday and dying for Friday. I look at my peers and I don't want to be like them. Clinging to the latest trends, dying to fit in, judging each other by the cars they drive or the clothes they're in. Like he's a man, he drives a Benz. I want something more for my life. God, I'm tired of being a boy, I want to be a man. Because one day when my little boy takes my hand, I want him to know that it's not about what his dad said, it's about where his dad stands. I want a life filled with purpose and passion. I want to look in a mirror and see your face. I want to feel your grace. This world is not my home. I was made to be with you somewhere out past outer space. I'm like an astronaut, so bound to this world, I feel out of place. But if that's the case, then why does this world feel so good with every lust-filled taste? And I preach Jesus, but I deny you to your face. Painfully aware of the perpetual stare in the mirror of a pale-faced kid who wouldn't dare deny you with his lips, but rather with his care. Because I don't care. I want to look like I love you more than I want to love you. I'd rather talk like you than live like you, praise you, rather than purposely present myself before you with purity. Because I'm passive. I care more about keeping up with fake visions of tradition. So lost in religion that I forgot it's about a relationship. A relationship that in my schedule, I can never make fit. So I faked it. So many years wasted, I forgot about your grace and the first time I tasted it. I chose everything else over the one thing that I needed. I chose this world over Jesus. <coughs> Bondage over freedom. So I can't help but wonder, what do you think of when you think of me?
I think that I made you in my image. And there's nothing that you could do or that you could say that would make me love you any less because my love for you is endless. I never said that you'll be able to be perfect because if you could be perfect, there will be no need for the cross. I wouldn't have needed to find you because you wouldn't have been lost. You would have been faithfully serving me somewhere in a feel-good fantasy. Faithful instead of faithless. But you were sick, born with the disease. And it pleased me to become sin for you so that you could be set free, not just for today, but for the rest of eternity. I took your hell. I took your cross. I took your place. Not so that you would wander down every alleyway trying to find satisfaction in every wicked way, but it doesn't surprise me that you would try to find fulfillment in pointless ways. But it didn't work, did it? Is all it did was damage and change you. But what's even stranger is that a baby will be willing to be born in a manger, willing to take the full force of God's wrath and anger. I hung naked, bloody, and bruised on a cross for you so that you could experience love, so that you could experience life, so that you could experience salvation, so that you could be set free. So if you want me, you can have me. You can take me and be holy as I am holy. But the decision rests solely on you. What will you do?